We're on the road and we're headed for Roswell. I got my eyes peeled for UFOs. I haven't seen any yet, but I haven't given up hope. There's the sign for Roswell, welcome to Roswell. The light was better on the other side, but it didn't say the same thing. This is as close as we came to UFOs, a weather balloon. We're blasting down the road again. It's kind of overcast and everything. I don't know, I wasn't that excited at Roswell. Now we're looking for a place to park tonight. We're in Texas and uh, I hope we can find a nice place. This is the sun going down. We found a rest station right around here. We, we stayed there. On the side of the road, I saw some antelope that were posing for pictures. There's like two female antelopes that seem to be pregnant. Look at the motorcycles cruising down the highway. I can't get used to seeing the guys without wearing helmets. It's pretty strange. Big sky country here, amazing. Wonderful for a drive. It's been nice. We missed the whole winter in Ontario and I've been loving it here very much. Big sky country, look at that. The road just goes on forever to infinity and the sky above. One nice day after another. We didn't see very much rain or snow or anything like that. Amazing clouds in the sky and a deep, deep blue sky and lots of stars at night. Really cold, clear skies at night. Well, I'm driving down the road and now I see a sign that says Mexican Consulate. That gives me pause to think for a minute and I don't know really where I am. I've just seen that big dirigible in the desert and next thing I see is the Mexican border. This is Elephant Rock. What an amazing rock formation. It's all different colors too. It's, this is what causes these rock formations is a different strata erodes at different rates because of how strong it is or how weak it is or how granular, whatever. It leaves these unusual structures. Lots of cactus flowers. We went into Big Bend Park in Texas and I've seen some of the cactuses this year, but all the flowers that we saw were well past it. These are just coming into their own now, and there were beautiful flowers on each side of the road. We stopped to photograph these tiny, weeny little flowers on a cactus. Now we're blasting down the desert road again. Well, this is the ghost town. It sure picked up a lot since I was here the last time. That's for sure. Last time I was here, I photographed a road runner. There was just nowhere near as much activity here as there is now. I saw that place that had like a barbecue. Yeah. That sort of, I wouldn't mind a chunk well, of we'll something see. maybe, if we could afford it. Got some ribs here and they were really, really good. Some of the stone buildings in the ghost town here, they use these poles to hold the roof up somehow, and there's our van parked up in the desert. The windows are framed with wood, but everything else is made from stone. That's all cut to fit or sorted to fit, I don't know. These buildings have been here for a long time. And the ghost town is really coming back to life. It's uh, Jackass Flats was near there. There was a little store. You could buy some things. Now this was in Texas. It's some kind of a little wild pig. And I was photographing some of them on one side of the road. And Mary yelled out of the van that the other ones had gone under the road and were coming around behind me. Look at this cactus flower. I don't know if this is what you call the yellow rose of Texas or not, but it's just a flowering cactus, and this was the best one I could find anywhere. I was just amazed with the beauty of it. I photographed quite a few of the desert cactus and succulents. Fairy duster I photographed near the saguaro cactus. 
I would have liked to get a whole bunch of these together, but they just didn't grow that way. They were uh, just growing out of the thorns, which I thought was pretty interesting anyway. Now we're along the Rio Grande River, and uh, the river was almost dried up. There were some people putting boats in, but there wasn't an awful lot of water there. More rocks and sand and desert than water. Here's a little grove of cottonwood trees that I think is quite beautiful. Here's the juxtaposition of the rocks and the grass. Beautiful cottonwood trees again. Whenever there's a drop of water, the green just comes right out. Some longhorn mountain goats along here. They were pretty interesting. They're very shy. It's a sunset. We're at Marfa. We're waiting for the lights. Now there's some mysterious lights that appear out there. And this viewing port was built there. They were discovered around 1850 or something. The lights just appear in the air above the ground. And when I saw them, I thought, wow, big deal. You know, it's, but when you think of it, it doesn't matter that the lights are really tiny. The fact that they just appear out of nowhere and, and there's no real explanation for them. There were some strange lights, all right. This was some artwork that was there from on the garbage can. Here's some of the lights, just sort of dancing in the air in the desert. I was happy that I got to see them. The first night we went there it was too overcast, you couldn't see anything. So I came back the next day and a lot of people that I'd met said they were coming back. But it was a whole new crew the next night I was there, but nobody that I'd met the day before was. You never know what we're going to see next. We just keep on looking for new horizons. Now look at this little uh, shenanigan to drive through here. And my GPS kept changing its mind where to go. But at the end of it all, we managed to get back somehow. It was a great trip. We saw some pear blossoms in Arkansas. That was about the last good pictures we had was in Arkansas. Then we came back across Michigan. The blossoms were really nice. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.